Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. The snow levels are going to be a little bit higher this time around, so we already have really moist ground, and with more rain coming in on top of that, rivers, creeks, and streams all expected to uh, be on the rise, some of which may be very well reaching flood stage. And we've got so much of a surplus here into the northwest from as much as 20 inches above average to as little as maybe just a little bit over an inch in a place like Medford, Oregon. But you get the idea that we've really had a wet go of it here the last couple of months and additional rainfall isn't needed. What we want is low snow levels and working on building up that snowpack and not getting that to melt until the spring months. Unfortunately, that's not happening this time around. So the Olympics and the Cascades both into the lower elevations are going to be getting more rain. So we do have flood watches in effect. This includes all of the I-5 quarter across the region. This will continue through the rest of the work week and into the weekend. So we do have that onshore flow right now and another big push of moisture is going to be coming in here along with the new area of low pressure that's going to bring more rounds of rain and snow. There may be a few breaks in between here and there between now and the end of the day on your Friday, but overall this is going to be a very unsettled, very active time with a stream of moisture just aiming itself in across the region. So we are going to be measuring snow in feet once again. We're going to be measuring rain in inches, maybe even a half a foot or better in some of these locations. So this will finally start to work its way a little farther to the south working in northern parts of California as we head into your Friday. The Bay Area will likely get some rain and then this begins to push into the interior and perhaps we settle down a little bit more as we head into the weekend. So there's a look at your forecast rainfall totals. When we see some of those oranges, especially over towards the Olympics, that's not good news of five to eight inches of rainfall. And there you can see that snowfall. We will be measuring it in feet and the avalanche risk is going to be high. Not all at once. Right. We want to stretch it out little by little. We want to snow, I think, more than anything. Yeah. else, honestly, right? Because then we Some get that nice pack. Could use and, it. Yes, the skiers love it, but we also love the reservoirs filling up in the spring months uh, in between as well. Right now, we do have a lot of active weather on the radar, so let's get you started with that as we speak. And Tevin mentioning what's going on across parts of the West, and yes, we're seeing that rain in Seattle. We're seeing that rain in Portland all along the I-5, and then snow. We're getting into the higher elevations. Unfortunately, we've got a lot of rain more than anything else across parts of the Olympics, and this this is going to add up to a number of inches, in fact, a handful plus, unfortunately, through the rest of the week. Now, as we head across uh, the Wasatch and into the Rockies, we're getting snow here. Some of the heaviest banding of snow taking place in southwestern parts of Nebraska right now. That's where we're going to have some big travel issues. And as we head into the Great Lakes right now, it doesn't look like a ton on the radar, but it is. And it's really more of a visibility issue than anything else because we've got the snow coming down, but we also have some really gusty winds. Look at the these Wingas, Chicago, Detroit, over towards Des Moines, we've got 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So that's driving the visibility down in all these places where we're seeing some of that snow. Now, winds are a little bit calmer across parts of the Northeast. We're warm enough that it's rain now in a place like Portland down towards Boston into Providence. Rain finally exiting Long Island. It's working its way out of here. And this is just going to be a temporary break in between our storm systems before that next round, this next storm develops and works its way down towards the deep south and into parts of the mid-Atlantic. Tevin, for Sunday, so a big heads up Philadelphia that Sunday morning in particular could be very difficult for travel. We'll start you out on the southern tier of all this on your Saturday, and we are expecting showers and thunderstorms, hit and miss of the variety, and we'll see that from Houston to Shreveport, New Orleans, yes, you get in on the mix, as well as places like Little Rock and Memphis. This is after your snow, right, that's going to be coming in for tomorrow and a little bit of that uh, wintry mix. This is going to be a warmer storm uh, for the weekend compared to what we're going to be dealing on Thursday into Friday. So keep that in mind is that areas that were maybe getting a little icy here on Thursday, Friday are going to be looking at rain and thunderstorms into the weekend as our temperatures work their way up. It's going to be a good indoor day on Sunday. And I know this looks kind of ominous um, on our maps here, but I want you to keep in mind is that I do think it's going to be scattered across the region Sunday into Sunday night and rainfall totals for the most part across the region should be totaling up to less than an inch. Some of the heavier amounts of rain maybe with some of those isolated thunderstorms 
storms across the southern plain state. So we've got a lot of active unsettled conditions. We're continuing with that train of storms, so to speak, that it's just one after the other, Ted. Yeah, one after the other that we are, especially across the Pacific Northwest where a lot of that can expect on Saturday and Sunday. And we'll start on the southern tier of this where showers and thunderstorms start getting introduced to you in New Orleans as well as stretching back towards Lake Charles into the Houston area, Shreveport on up towards Dallas, uh, Fort Smith and Memphis. So this is Saturday. This is after our bit of wintry weather in some of these areas. By Saturday night, you can see this starts to shift a little farther off towards the east. This is going to be a warmer storm. So most of us are getting rain and a few embedded thunderstorms. And this is going to be scattered across the region and stay kind of unsettled through your Sunday as it moves through the deep south and into the Tennessee River Valley. So after getting your bit of snow tomorrow into Friday, then we move into the weekend with rain this time around. But we'll have to watch out for some of the higher elevations, especially late Sunday night for the chance of getting a little freezing rain or a little bit of snow. The rain for the most part is going to be light, but a couple of those thunderstorms could bring some heavier downpours, especially into parts of the Mississippi River Valley. So that's as we head towards the weekend, Tevin, but we've got a storm to contend with right now. We've got one to contend with right now. In fact, uh, some of those same locations, Jackie, you mentioned for the rain, we'll see snow in advance.